My name is Rhapsody. Welcome back to Roguebook. Let's have a look at our upgrades before we choose our characters here. Ah, just changing the order of things up a wee bit. So I could go for, you know, start to increase every character's base life a little bit. Honestly, it's probably worth it. By four, by eight, by six, by two. Yeah, so it's 10% increase each time. Hmm. It's just I don't want to spend like a huge amount on these things if a tiny investment in some things like, you know, extra chance for an extra socket uh, might go a little bit further. Especially because as we do later epilogues, we're going to be unlocking more pages at the same time. So it's going to become easier and easier and easier to buy the more expensive ones. Increases the chance the replace card has an extra socket. This was increasing the rarity of the card that gets added to the deck. Extra sockets are really good. Putting two sockets in the same card is incredible. I'm going to take the extra socket chance, and then I will take the final pocket ink. Nice. Um, hmm. We went Shara and Sifa last time. You know what? Let's do a Shara and Soroka. I'm ready. Do you need a hand? Mm-hmm. I can help. Let's go. Let's go out. All right. What challenges do we unlock as well? Permanent malaise. Whenever the front hero plays a card, they take two damage. It's also greed is good. Start with Vagoro's hat. Uh, all gold piles are revealed. Your heroes are dealt two non-lethal damage when you pick up gold. Oh. Oh dear. So I have to get seven combined levels. So I could do like lantern fairies. Towers and Runes of Sign are replaced by Lantern Fairies. Uh, and Fagoro's Hat, maybe? Hmm. I don't love it, but I think I should be able to do it. All right. There's a lot of those modifiers that we could put on. Let's, let's take this. Uh, at the start of each battle, draw two cards. Boots of Alani, neat. The equipped hero has Ready, plus one guy. power. Also I quite neat. Diamond ready. shield. Golden sphere, Reap. Gain 25 gold. This was a rough time in there. Have we got an AOE card to put that into? Sucker Punch. Only play if Soroko is leading. There's Smoke Bomb and Bravery. We've got a lot of defense in here. Um, duel? I'm going to want the Golden Sphere, hopefully, in an AoE card, and then just try and finish every fight with that AoE card, killing as many enemies as possible. Uh, they got anything to drink? Um, hmm. Each time the heroes uh, swap this turn, gain four block, and then just put draw a card in that is nice. There's a few things there that are nice, but nothing I need to attend to just yet. We'll save picking up gold pies until we need them. Can I go to a Vault of Wisdom already? So there's two different ways I can go with Golden Sphere. I can wait. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, let's look at the Vault of Wisdom. Not what I wanted. Okay. So two different ways I think I can go with it is wait for an AoE card to try and get more gold out of it consistently, or I just put it in something right now. Put it in something like a strike, which I'm happy to burn out of the deck. Uh... And I can, like, it, it's not a card that I'm, I'm really wanting to play very quickly, so. It's fine. I could take uh, Recall and start setting up for more daggers. That is Avatar of Dissolve, right? So daggers is good. Excellent. Take it. 
Avatar of Mist takes bonus damage from cards that dissolve. So this this is a card that it, I'm going to need daggers before this is good, but it's okay. Uh, we'll get the strike in a Sirocco strike. Yeah, because uh, Shara's strike is more commonly going to be used for just straight up damage. Um, a block. Let's see. I'm probably just going to throw this into a guard. Very well. Increase it to 12 block. Did I even look at what you were selling? I did. Lightning draw is nice. Rolling camouflage seems nice. It can be quite nice. Scholar Shard. Oh my god. Bronze Boomerang, Scholar Shard, Rolling Camouflage. We have Smoke Bomb. We have Bravery. We have Lunge. I that that is a lot of defense. That is a good defense engine. I'm saying. Okay. Got our way to the front line. Oh, we start each battle with a block. Good. Yeah, I was wondering where that had come yeah. from, despite the fact that I definitely should have known. Uh, just to demonstrate the smoke bomb, you gain nine block and then you retreat. How it works, actually though, is it moves you to the front when you gain the nine block and then it retreats. It orders them uh, top to bottom. So that triggers two swaps, which will give us the ability to double dip on a lot of things. Sometimes even triple dipple. Um. I'll be taking my 25 gold out of this fight, thank you. As long as we get that off in every single combat, it's going to be so much money. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if we did buy exactly the three things that I pointed out and then put them all together as quickly as possible. Oh, That's worth its weight in gold. I, I don't use that until it demands to be used. Let's take a little bit of damage, leaving that. So four spaces in opposite directions can get me to two fights here. And also start moving me up in this direction. I actually do need to get those boots of Alani as well. That's actually pretty good. That's pretty good because getting to here and then popping that is actually quite efficient. I'm going to want to try and find things that can actually heal my characters as well, obviously. I can't just use these. So if I leave gold on the ground, then at the very end of the uh, floor, I can go collect all of the gold. This is to say if I can move around the gold. I can't always move around the gold. But at the end, I can collect all of the gold, and if it deals lethal damage, it doesn't. Right? If it would deal lethal damage, it won't. Your, heal, uh, your heroes are dealt non-lethal damage, yeah. Um, so if Shara has one HP, I can pick up all of the gold on the map after that point and then just heal back up with Radiant Hearts, is the general idea. Six been fine currently. Eey. This fight got made a little bit easier because it was quite harsh. Uh, they now have things they can do that aren't attacking and also the Tiki Elite in the back line does less damage. Changes have been made there. Guard you to the front. Incoming damage is not enough. To worry us. Actually, I'm going to leave it like that. It guarantees that I have a non-summoned minion on board to hit with the strike. Because otherwise it wouldn't give us gold. Because it wouldn't count as a reap trigger. Whereas the new ones the Tiki Elite is going to summon are moved to the front line and they have the summon tag. Okay. 
I mean, duel, obviously. Smoke one to the back. Bravery back to the front. And I'm just going to pop a big guard. It's fine. No damage taken. Welcome to the party. I'd love some AoE cards if you had some friends. Oh, they go down an absolute treat right about now. Oof. It's a lot of incoming damage. Splitting some across the Shara. Might not be the best play, but I think she's less likely to take damage in the future. Also, it'll help get more value out of the thing that I'd have mentioned. Uh, Sack punch. Lunge. Maybe I should go and try and buy exactly the things I talked about previously. So you ended on 24 health. If I take this gold, do you lose HP? Yes. Okay, so even gold from that is losing HP. Is gold from... Oh god, I shouldn't have picked that up. That was just... That was just autopilot right there. Uh, is the gold from the... We actually don't have that much damage in the deck either. Hmm. I shouldn't go for you first if I can avoid it. Hmm. No two ways around that one. That's a sand there in order to be able to access it. Start a battle, draw two cards. Huge, huge power right there. No! I want to get the gold! Well, that's going to be a problem. Uh, rolling camouflage, bronze boomerang, and the scholar shard. 250, 150, 400 total. I mean, it is good. Is it good enough? Don't really want to pay money for anything else until we know what we're going to be doing with that. Actually, I do stand there. All space is up in this direction. I'll get my plus one power. Put that on Shara. With the daggers and all. I mean, I already have directionality for Shara, don't I? Yeah, it's daggers. Hmm. Warcry is power up for basically all of my daggers, but Clash is... Is is uh, is is a swap, effectively. God take clash. Spirit spice draw two cards, put two cards back on top of the deck. I don't know. Maybe spirit spice is exactly what I'm looking. <sighs> no, it's it's glue and it's positioning. Clash. Do you want to look at another card though? Still don't really feel like I have damage. Hmm. Pierce. Deal 10 damage to leading enemy and 5 to the next. Uh, power will modify that. Lorry, attack the leading enemy for 10. Whenever you draw a card this turn, deal 4 damage to the leading enemy. These two characters don't have a huge amount of access to draw. It's usually effects that give these characters draw. I think I just take the pierce. A useful skill. Still looking for daggers, though. Um, those are both precision ink triggers. Definitely. Uh, I think I can also now fight the lanterns. Feel like I probably have enough damage for them. Quite handily. Okay. 
front line. Gotta deal every damage point I get available. So I can try and see if I can line up the Reap as well. Probably won't be able to, but maybe. Duel moves us to the front. We have the ability to pierce and strike for as much damage as possible, leaving the strike with the Reap in for the second cycle. Lunge. Good start to this hand. Mm, unfortunate end to the hand, though. I actually do more damage by smoke bombing the retreat and then sucker punching. Not that it keeps hope alive or anything like that. The enemy has to go down this turn. Speaking of the enemy has to go down this turn. Pancake, I have enough damage for it. Oof, only just as well. Okay. Next. Enemy dies. They reveal not really anything. It's a little hard to access out there, but I could access this one with just a normal precision ink. Hopefully something else gives me precision ink as well. Alright, not him. Oh, I gave up all the money that I yeah, I went to actually buy things. Oops. I'll be back to you again, Nottam. Oh, uh, I I don't have much damage. I probably shouldn't be in this fight. We only just got the last one. Do we think we're going to get this on handily? Probably not. But... Lunge into Clash, because that sets up a Sucker Punch, which is a lot of damage. The bravery in the draw pile if I need it. That is to say, if I need that to get back to the front line, which I do... We'll clash, and then I'm going to bravery my way forward and use a strike. So we hopefully have four energy worth of cards that we can play here effectively. Actually. Yeah, that'll do it. Nice. Whew. Got through that one as well. Squeaking in. Squeaking by him. <laughs> narrative. Okay, uh, that could give us direction. What up, Narrative. Uh, pay 100 gold, remove a card from the deck, or have a chance to escape. Pay 100 gold, remove a card from the deck. Thank you. Get that basic strike out there. Yeah. Still going to have the ability to buy the things, but... It's going to have to be after everything else has resolved. I have to go to a normal battle as well. Maybe I should have popped a Radiant Potion there. Maybe. 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 <laughs> but I have yet to meet one who can outsmart Bullet. <laughs> oh, that's damage. Oh, boy, that's damage. Okay. Uh, we can, yes, bend and then smoke bomb, move back to the back. That's as little damage as I can take there. I'm very glad we have some dense defenses. Because, ouch. Yo, slow down. So much damage. I mean, I guess I'll use that lunge and then move back to back. Take four damage on our front line up, but you've got to not attack this turn. You, really? So much damage. Oh, we got the strike, though. Uh, so I'll duel my way to the front line. And then strike, setting you ready for dissolve. Go and half gold. Oh, I didn't even see if that dealt damage to us. That's what I wanted to look at. Oh, that precision is perfect as well.
Okay, now that your life is so low, I would have the ability to try and go and pick up all of the gold that I'd left around the map, but I kept accidentally picking some of it up. Some of it was also just impossible not to pick up. It was just on my path. Uh, that is a lot of gold in that position, though. That's, that's enough that I would spend that to get to it. A lot of gold out there too. Okay, I'm going to take another fight here. See if I find any more gold after it. Lunge. Here. Strike. I should probably also just get Soroko to default to the front. Despite the... Counter example being shown as useful here. Not necessarily going to be able to reap this enemy anyway. Front line. Lunge and strike. Okay. That should set up for a kill with most following hands here. Yep. Here's some clash. Please find more. Wait, it can't find more gold. I know I've got the Fagoro's map. Of course it's not going to find more gold. I know what was going to be found. Oops. All right. I'm going to go collect all the gold that's on the map and then use the Radiance to heal back up. Let's see how Shara's just not taking lethal damage at any point. This has been the aim and goal of the thing I've been trying to do so far. Actually, this one, though. Kinda made sense. Didn't work out well, but it made sense. So that'll there. I don't know if there's any more, like, high concent- Ooh, I was about to say high concentrations of gold there are. But I can't actually break out of this barrier here. I would have to come all the way around down on the left, which is unlikely to occur. Alright, not him. I told you what I was gonna do. I'm gonna do it. This works. Very well. Any more swap cards in here? Gain seven block during the next enemy's next turn, rather. Each time an attack is fully blocked, add a dagger to your hand. Oh, well, that sounds good for me. Uh, when you end your turn with no cards in hand, Shara gains power. When you use brush, reveal two extra adjacent tiles at random. I do like that. All future cards have two gem sockets. That's very early to get insatiable. That's going to let us do some dumb stuff. All right. Heal up. Heal up. Stop taking on the normal battle, seeing what we get. I mean, I don't put the camouflage back into the deck right now. That makes sense, too. It does draw us a card, though. Okay. Super punch. Uh, next hand. Shara's probably going to want to be back line. Which is to say, I don't think I'm doing lethal next turn. You're not far off. Okay, so we'll pause to the front line. And Guard back to the front line. Perfect. Do a sucker punch. Good rolling. Here's my first dagger. Okay, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm saving the HP on the characters rather than gold here. We've taken way too much from us to stall that out any longer. 
Three tiles in a straight line. I could just save that for the next floor. Ooh, three tiles in a straight line coming up here, though. Gets us another ink as well as another combat. All right, let's roll. Start with Pierce on you. Setting up for the reap instantly. And now I know basically everything's already sold. Also throw the repost here. Because I know that these two hits will each give us a dagger. Beauty. There are good ways to just pop those shields off the backliners. Ah. Uh, that's not good. All right, rolling camouflage. Please draw us a... Oh, God, thank you. A, a way for our characters to swap was pretty impactful there. Lunge our way back to the front. And almost kill you. Take five damage. A good amount of gold at the absolute least. Alright, rolling camouflage. Sets up for just defend, I guess. Totally fine for that to be all it sets up for, though. Actually, gonna use the recall here, getting it out, so I can never draw it again, and we'll hold the other dagger for popping the block off of this is your wisp when we need to, which I guess would be this turn right now. Wait. Yes, I already did get my energy, my energy, my money rather, which uh, is just energy for shopping. That's what I meant the whole time. Never misspoke. Don't know what you're talking about. Ooh, four in two different directions, though. Oh, and that gets me there, and then I can blow that up. Okay, yeah, we're doing it. Hidden very well. Worth. We'll need this. Just needed to cover more tiles. Okay. So another battle out here. I also do want to go to this Vault of Wisdom. Just looking for more bag cards. Hmm. Man of Knives, dissolve up to three cards in hand, add that many daggers to your hand. I'm going to need draw to really support it, but yes, I'm taking it. Up. Soroko gains plus three stacks of power for his next attack. Also, a thousand cuts there. That's some cuts is good damage, but do I want it? Probably right. A useful skill. It's it's very very good damage. It's not just eh, good damage. It's oh wow damage. Start with you. Defend my way to the front. Sucker punch and then bravery my way back. Oh, actually, no, it's not that. It's bravery our way back to the front and then use lunge to kill the enemy that has the most damage. Set up. I just need to get to that rebel slinger as quickly as possible, so... Anything that gets me faster, that is good. Rolling camouflage is going to be relevant. 
Seven and seven. Just short. Still can't play that strike without getting the reap value from it. It's too it's too valuable. Oh, that rebel slinger though. Rolling camouflage is huge this turn. Start out with smoke bomb. So it's that. And then this targets the leading enemy. Right? Mm-hmm. Says so. I will dissolve a repost and hold exactly one dagger in hand. Ow, ow. Not dead, but out. Throw the dagger before I put myself out of the front line without a plan to ever bring myself back there. Should have played the, def the bravery first. No! I did not want to go back to frontline that. I I just clicked the card and it instantly cast. Well, there's some wounds in our deck. That's okay. They get cleared by defeating the boss. We just need to now make sure that we can defeat the boss. Because that is not a guarantee. Steal yourself. Ow. Let me get the reap, please, still. I'm gonna need damage. Mm, that's not damage. This will not be the end. Oh my god, I can't even take the enemy down. I shouldn't have just not played it. I should have still played have returned me. Bend my way back to the front. Yeah. There. Oh my god. Can you take a turn off, bud? Please? This is necessary. Yeah, no, I absolutely have to kill you. I have no way to really survive through too many of those. Uh, ow. We have an elite still. And no health. Mm hmm. That was largely due to taking damage in that fight rather than actually the uh, the modifier. Although definitely the modifier contributed. Bloodstone would also be pretty good. Can't afford it. I don't really have anything I can do except for just try and go to that fight now, I think. And just hope that I can take out the elite without taking enough damage to kill anyone again. Or at least without taking enough damage to lose. That's possible too. Uh, let's go. Duel. God. Flash. And sucker punch. So our frontliner is going to be permanently vulnerable as a result of that hit. Which means we are going to have to use things like rolling camouflage to the best of their potential. Do I want to get a dagger this turn? No, I just throw a thousand cuts for 21 damage. Camouflage at least draws us into a card that will move me forward. 
King, 7 block and 4 block, 11 block, 16. That does keep us alive right now. I may be best served by burning all of these cards. Or maybe just the strike. No, no, I want to burn all of them. Including the one that's going to get us the reap. Okay. And then the turn when I want to play them? Is there ever a turn I'm more powerful than I currently am? Nope. Nope, oh, they're maxing them right now. We do have rolling camouflage. Hopefully, we get enough movement. Oh, movement cards, please. It's a movement card, at least. We'll push our way back to the front line. This is not going to do it. We can get back three daggers, or just throw the thousand cuts. We'll throw the thousand cuts. Down goes Shara. Mm-hmm. Yeah, most of the cards we wanted to really keep us alive or we'll do damage here are Shara's cards. Thankfully, I still do not have enough defense there to live. I don't think we win the boss fight after this, so... This will not be the end. This may end up being a Pyrrhic victory. If it is indeed even a victory. Swapsies. Twenty-four damage this turn, you say? Okay, I say right back with a flat affect. I feel stronger. Man, do you? You died two times. Uh, when this block deal twice as much damage as the leading enemy instead. Well, I kind of need my blocks right now. I'm pretty sure the interaction between that gem and flex has been fixed, by the way, just in case anyone immediately saw those two. It was like, Raps, why didn't you take the previous one out of that? I'm almost entirely certain it was fixed. Although I would still now happily take flex now that I've found more dagger uh, access. I should look in here, actually. I should have looked in this beforehand. Uh, Mountain Fist! Gain 8 block, and then attack the leading enemy for damage equal to your block. Yeah. I'll take that. When this block steals twice as much damage as the leading enemy instead. Well, it's not really super synergistic, but it's fine. Uh, okay, so somehow I'm planning to just beat the boss without anything else? I guess. Oh god. This one's actually a nightmare for us. Um, so I know the hand is play thousand cuts. Play clash. Really? Smoke Bomb and Clash is 16 more block on top of the 8 we already have. 16 on 8 is uh, 24, and then it becomes 26 with the additional block from Sirocco being out front, which means Sirocco survives on 1 HP after the end of it. Uh, so we... Actually, no, before we do that, we... Fan of Knives. And we'll use the daggers right now because they aren't getting better with any later action. Uh, they can only get worse from now on out by being weakened or having power removed or something like that. We'll burn 
three honestly fine cards. Three. Send out a clash. You smoke bomb. Two more block. Frontliner lives. And Twelve block this turn. We can do that. Should be bravery first, then lunge for the damage, then defend to get Soroko back in front to be the person who loses the power because we've got multi strikes on our backliner as well as the daggers. Rolling camouflage. Let's repost. Beautiful. Then mountain fist. And then duel. Unfortunately, this will now lose the power on Shara, but it does also keep us safe and deals a decent amount of damage. We'll see get one dagger out of it. Could have been worse. I'm pretty sure, somehow. And we'll throw that dagger on, knowing that that is the best position it can even theoretically be in. 25, oof. 25 is pretty demanding. It gets a lot easier when we have a repost. Let's do that. Then clash our way back to the front. Wait, if I'm about to clash my way back to the front, we've got enough defense. Which means I could use Recall first here. Uh, we have four of them in there. I mean, look, Recall could be used at any point. Uh, so actually I will duel, defend, and flash for the full defense there. Oh, thank you. Vulnerability disappeared, but I still don't... Oh, yeah, that's not going <laughs> to... Oh, oh. Uh, Is there anything I can do here? Because if 14 kills one of my characters, it'll move to the back and then the other one will be attacked. So one of them needs to live through the first 14 here in order for me to not die. One of them needs to live through the first 14. Uh... The maximum defense that I can generate this turn if Soroko is left out front is the just straight up eight from Mountain Fist, as well as the two from Fortifying Brew taking you to 11. Hit, hit, I lose. Uh, if we instead try and leave Shara in front, we get two less block, but Shara has six herself. So Mountain Fist plus Shara is 14 total, we die. We have no extra effect that's giving us extra block for anything. Yeah, we're dead. Honestly, a valiant attempt there at the very end. Uh, so how do we need to reorient our approach? I may want to think about doing this with Aurora, specifically the Fagoro's hat one. Uh, start with Fagoro's hat. Your heroes are dealt two non-lethal damage each when you pick up gold. See, Aurora would be able to heal that at the start of every single fight. Just teacup heal all the way back up. Should make that a lot easier to manage. Sifa also has a lot more self-healing tools. Would be able to do it much more... These are not the characters I should have used Greed is Good with. They might be perfectly exactly the wrong characters to use that modifier on. Oops. Didn't know I would be doing that, but oops. 
Get more daggers. Bye bye. No. Yeah, you die, and then you die right afterwards as well. Ah, <sighs> well tried, friends. Well tried. Didn't get necessarily that far, but it's okay. We've learned more. And I think we've got a pretty good bead on the characters that we're going to want to take out instead for the greed is good in the future. For the moment, though, uh, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure the amount of time this episode takes uh, being half the length of any other run so far is probably going to have given away the game on what happened there, right? Yeah, probably. Unfortunately, that also means I definitely do not have the time to start up another run that could be as long as three hours. Uh... And that's just a bit too long of a video, friends. So instead, I'm just going to the outro and say that my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Roguebook. There's a playlist on the description up in the top left for all of the videos on this series, past, present, and future, as well as YouTube recommend yeah, YouTube recommendation directly below it. Thank you to the folks supporting over on patreon.com slash Rhapsody Plays at or above the $10 tier streaming by on the screen at the moment. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.